Mike has the ankle feeling. That's okay. I mean, good to play. And it was what? You sprained it right before the last game, the day before? Yeah, the day before. Okay, just what happened? Rolled it up and practice something? Yeah, just rolled it. How do you guys feel uh, confident wise going into this game? I mean, kind of taking a break from SEC play, but it's still on the road. Uh, yeah, OSU is a really good opponent. Uh, uh, we got to play as a team, play as we've been playing, uh, and just execute. And Sonny, what have you seen out of their guards? Uh, their guards like to drive the ball a lot, so we got to make sure we contain the dribble. Um, they don't really ball screen that much, um, but we got to make sure we sit on their back cuts and just the different actions they run. For both of you, how hard is it to, I guess, is it harder to focus on this game than Tennessee's next and they've got the number one thing? It, it, what's your mentality the young guys to make sure that they're focused on this game and not looking too far? We, we, take, we take it one game at a time. We're not even worried about Tennessee right now. That's not our focus. Uh, the next game on the schedule is the most important game. For both of you, knowing the rough start you guys had, but the strong play that you've shown in SEC action, how important is it to get this win knowing you guys still control your destiny when it comes to what could potentially happen in March? Uh, I mean, we've just been saying, you know, keep it going. Uh, we just want to keep, you know, elevating the program, keep getting wins. So, therefore, uh, we just want to go to Oklahoma on the road and try to steal us a win. How much did you guys... I mean, your last road trip obviously didn't go like you wanted it. Coming off of a big win, you're kind of in the same type of spot now. What's going to be the, you know, what, what can you take from the LSU experience just six days ago that can help you, you know, going to this next road trip? Uh, what we can take from the LSU game is that we need to play as a team. We need to trust each other and uh, just stick to our ways, stick to what Frank teaches us. And uh, I think if we do that, we can. We can defeat anyone. Did you guys happen to watch the Tennessee Vanderbilt game like on your own time the other day? Uh, I saw it a little bit. Were you hoping for them to lose, or did you want to get a crack at number one? Uh, honestly, really didn't watch it uh, that way. Just watched watched them play, and it was a thriller down to the end. It was a great game. Sonny, did you watch it? I didn't get to see it that much. I actually fell asleep, but um, <laughs> I seen I seen some of it, and I, I wasn't cheering for one team or the other. Um, they're both opponents to us, but uh, I mean the fact that number, I mean Tennessee is number one. That definitely, you know, brings some hype to them, and we're looking forward to playing. Sonny, Mike mentioned trust just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Why do you guys feel like you're trusting each other more now than say perhaps in the beginning of the season, on the floor? At least? Uh, I think you know with so many new guys coming onto the team, um, we just had to build you know chemistry, and it started in the summer. But you know over time you. You know, you, you learn to gain trust for one another and uh, have each other's back on the court and off the court. And I think that's big time for us going forward. What was the message to the younger guys being able to come off a win like this, maybe one of the biggest that they've had of their careers? We have to tell them in order to say, hey, we got to put that behind us now. Just keep it going. You know? uh, take it one game at a time, and the most important game is the next one. Asani, uh, Frank talked about Mike his transition from Monday to Tuesday with the ankle and going out there and playing, what a message that sent to mm -hmm. the younger guys that like, hey, if you know, if they have anything ailing, you know, here's a here's an older guy content. What do you think Mike did for that and, and, and how good is the leadership on this team right now? Well, I mean, as you guys know, we've been having a lot of injuries. Um, some injuries I feel like guys can play through. Um, I mean, last year I played with a, her ankle, you know, most of the year. Um, so. I was really hoping that Mike would, would come and play the next day um, and not sit out, and he did that. So that was big time. And it just, like you said, it just showed his leadership and, and the dedication that he has to playing with us and helping the program. So.